Not every spiritual battle that you enter into will be a battle that you will win. Sometimes you're gonna mess up. And I would not be a good pastor if I didn't tell you what to do when you mess up because we all miss the mark at times. Is that true? Do you agree with me that we all miss the mark? If you're not agreeing with me right now, you're missing a really big mark, okay, right now, okay? Because we all miss the mark at times. And so there are times we get trapped by the enemy in certain ways, and we don't always do it the right way. And so, and I'm not condoning that, and I'm not encouraging that. I'm just acknowledging the reality that there, along the journey, you're going to lose some battles. But please remember this. When you lose a battle, it does not mean you've lost the war. Okay? Amen. And so there's something that you and I need to do because sometimes we're going to get wounded in spiritual battle. And so what do we do when we're wounded in spiritual battle? Take a look at what the Scripture says in 1 John chapter... I didn't read this one a while ago, but uh, nevertheless. 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. My little children, I'm telling you this so that you will stay away from sin. Got it? So he says, before I get into all this, I'm telling you all this because I want you to stay away from sin. I want you to be victorious. Don't yield to temptation. But if you... I love his pastoral heart, his loving heart here. He says, I'm telling you this so you won't do dumb things. Don't go out and do what the enemy wants you to do. I'm telling you this so you'll stay away from sin. But if you do sin, there is someone to plead for you before the Father. And his name is Jesus Christ. The one who is all that is good, who pleases God completely. I am so glad that when... I have the heart not to sin, but I end up making a mistake along the journey that I've got an attorney in heaven for me. Amen. And his name is Jesus. And he's pleading my case before the Father. And he's taking, he said, I paid the price for, for Dale's sin. And he's paid the price for your sin. And he's the one who is good, all that is good, who pleases God completely. And then it goes on to say, he is the one who took God's wrath against our sin, against our sins upon himself and brought us into the fellowship with God. And he is the forgiveness for our sins and not only ours, but all the world, all who will put their faith in him. So when you're wounded in battle, don't run away from God. Run to God because you have an advocate and his name is Jesus. And that's the way you find forgiveness and the opportunity to get up and go again.